Aquarius, Russell Crowe, Brandon and Lee, Laura, Lucy, a Lucifer. Maybe you got Capricorn in one's chart. But I kept hearing queer. <laughs> so I'm sorry if that's offensive, but queer is like somebody that's in a same-sex relationship, but I'm not being offensive, but I heard queer. But then I also heard queer, as if like it's like Jonathan Ross. So Jonathan or JR or RJ or something like that. Or Ross, Kemp, Camp. Like same sex relationship or Kemp, so that would be Kent, someone from like London or someone from Britain, uh, that might be of an interest. Um, but then someone that might have a lisp, Willow, <laughs> like my <Mike> career, <laughs> Jonathan Wash speaks like that. <laughs> um, so that someone that's got a short tongue or a wisp, okay, lisp. Um, and then it might be where your career is of a concern, okay, so queer, career. Okay, so my career is very queer. What's that, Dave? <laughs> Something going on that's very funny around your career. Okay, career. <laughs> Someone could be, oh, that's me. I do have Aquarius in my chart, uh, Venus. <laughs> it just it's, it depends when your Venus is conjunct your anus. Is it, that's that's the that's the funny one. <laughs> but um. Something going on that's very uh, like a courier driver, courier, courier driver. I can never spell courier. Okay, um, but like a courier driver could be dealing with a life path seven or a Cancerian, and something going on very cur like you don't know what to do about your career. I have got no idea whether I should be a tarot reader or a driver. I don't know, but like um, something going on about driving life path seven, maybe a courier driver or your actual career, and I don't know what to do next. Right. So it's kind of like, you know, I've got something going on, but I really don't know whether to do something else or something like that that might be going on of a concern around you about your career. But they keep saying career, career drive, I don't know, like Uber Eats, pizza delivery, long distance driving, so on and so forth. Right. Um, any other messages before we start for um, Aquarius, Dave? If you didn't know, I'm a bit strange. My spirit guy is called Dave. Right, Dave. Um, What's her name? Dan, Van, Haley Van, or something to do with someone's van. You might be buying a new van or looking for a new van. Why do my own messages always come up in my readings? Sorry. Unless you've got something to do with that. You're looking for a van. Okay, a van, a van. As also, also hearing that as a name, a van or um, Elaine, also Elaine or a van, Page, Elaine Page. You're right. Uh, page, 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 page. Ages, pages, ages, pages, ages. Something around like something's getting older, or I feel like I'm getting older, and pay, my pages are getting older. So unless you've got a, a young child that's getting older called Paige, but it's like my books are getting older. My book, <laughs> Leanne, you're right. Um, but my books are getting older. Why would books be getting older? Books, unless your name is Books or Book. Books. Jungle Book, Boogaloo, I want to be like you, I want to walk like you, talk like you too, they say it's true, you ain't like me, uh, Jungle Book, books, books, books and books, some of you could be reading books, writing books, uh, selling books, I don't know, some of you write a book, book, brook, brook. Brooke, the name Brooke, Brooks, Brooke Shields. Oh, I don't know where these are relating. Let's see. So I've got a new deck. We're going to look at these first, Aquarius, and then we're going to look at your monthly coming up for May. Okay, so anything coming up for that you want uh, Aquarius to know, Spirit? Aquarius, what have you got, Aquarius? You have the glow up. So feeling great. Okay, everybody taking notice of me. Okay, I'm looking good, feeling and I'm feeling good. Bam, 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 bam. Someone thinks that you're really attractive, um, Aquarius. Okay, some of you might be having your hair done and you could be, unless your name's Dunn or Putchy or Dan, okay, and you might be having your hair coloured like pink or uh, purple. Pink and purple and red and green. Someone's like a teacher of, like, children. Because I'm hearing, like, nursery rhymes, like rainbow. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. 
Um, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Don't forget you can also watch this as Leo because they're both major arcana eights. The strength card and the star card are both eights, so you can watch it as a life path eight too. That's how I read in numerology. Uh, Aquarius, let's see. Let's get on with their reading spirit because I can feel I'm getting all Nancy Drew. Um, prison. Oh, really? I'm uh, feeling locked up, feeling incarcerated, feeling like I can't get out, okay, or I need to go out, unless you know anybody that could be facing a prison sentence, okay? But someone feels good that the other person is also, like, left in the dark. There will be a four of wands there, so it would be like a Scorpio Aries, maybe. Um, Aquarius. Um... Squad goals. See, I'm getting all the crap. <laughs> all the ones that I wouldn't really want really know how to read. They, this, There's quite a few cards in this deck why I bought this one, but there's a few that I thought, nah. Squad goals. I don't know. Some of you have got your army or the, the song, something, Nation Army. Um, Could be in the army now, someone that's in the Marines or something, or Maria. Um, Squad goals. I'm also hearing that someone that does a, um, they don't do it here, like a football type sort of, what is that that the guys do in America? Um, oh, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Like league, like a baseball league or something like that. League of Gentlemen, Lee. Um, Aquarius. <laughs> a big bag of dicks. <laughs> wow look at the middle one this could be like a seven of cups okay a lot of choices of dick unless this person's just got a big dick uh they could be circumcised or not circumcised i don't know but these are all circumcised dicks so i don't know man it seems to be this squad seems to be taking a look at these dicks and saying yum 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 put that in my tum so someone's after some sausage could be a Capricorn. They normally get sausage party. Okay. Um, and under the deck is unwanted plans getting changed. Again, I really can't give you any messages through these like I have the other the other people because it's not really telling me a story. Someone feels really good. Someone's is attractive. Somebody's noticed you, Aquarius, and they want to show you their dick. Okay, or they want to give you a dick pic or something like that. You could have a few people that are kind of like, would you like to see my Rodney, Dave? Um, and there's a few people queuing up as if to say, cool, you know, I'll I'll take a look at your dick here. It, it's I'm sorry, Aquarius, but it it's it's just a message that I've got. This could relate to prison. Someone, I don't know, um, you could have a pervert around you. Or some of you could be getting divorced. The prison could be like a a situation that you've got going on where you're married and you want to get divorced. Um, but basically someone's like really like, God, <laughs> here, Aquarius. It's the only kind of one that I can kind of, um, I can kind of think of here. Um, or see anyway. Uh, Aquarius, kind of picking up on like Leo vibes here. Aquarius, just give him one more, see if there's any other messages. The garden. Some of you might like to spend a lot of time in the garden outside. Some of you want, this person wants to have intercourse outside, like outside. Because it feels like that somebody wants to be watched here or maybe get caught by someone doing something or like get or be watched i don't know why but i wouldn't say like in the garden maybe but because this is outside the messages that i'm kind of picking up is that this person likes to be um watched okay i mean you know the most kinkiest signs are aquarius gemini and capricorn okay if you've got those in your chart here. 
mm, is, <laughs> is kind of what I'm picking up. You've kind of got this kinky kind of energy going on here. Um, so let's see, Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Anything coming up for Aquarius? Aquarius. Because this person looks dumbstruck, really, in a way, like, huh? Like, wow. <laughs> like, you know, I'm glowing up and people are around me and I keep getting offered by mail, you know, I keep getting offered by someone or something like that. Okay. Being noticed. Let's just have a quick look to see why prison is here. What's this prison got to do with, please? What's this prison got to do with? Life Power 5 or Sagittarian? Everything is in reverse. Okay. For a laugh, Aquarius, let's clarify your reading. <laughs> I haven't done this one. So let's clarify it to find out, right? Here. So this prison sentence is to do with around a Life Power 5 or Sagittarius or Taurus. What's the temperance energy here for? Is the Four of Swords. So it is like we're on break, okay? We're on break, but there could be some kind of sexual thing that's kind of going on, like a one-night stand or something. Okay, we're having a little bit of a break before we end up, like, back together again or something, and we'll be together again. We're connected to the right line. But this would also be a spiritual one as well. Okay, spiritual hyenas. Something really could be going in a direction here. Uh, let's see, what's the squad goals for? <laughs> don't forget, because I can feel it, that people are going to start telling me that I don't want anyone around me because I'm healing. You cannot heal on your own. You cannot heal a problem if you're on your own that relates to other people because you have to have a task at hand to work on. You cannot work while you're in, like, separation or you're on your own or you're not with anyone and you're not connecting with anyone. You cannot heal and work on projects and things if you don't have a job, you don't get money. If you are not with a person or connecting with them, you are not working on a fault within a connection. So you have to be with someone in order to be able to do that, okay? Because I'm hearing this energy maybe being on one's own, saying, I don't want anything to do with anybody, blah, blah, blah. I'm healing, you know. There's this energy that's coming towards this coming energy here, okay? It's like it's coming. They're coming. <laughs> um, what is this big bag of dicks? What's this for? Big bag of dicks. Yep, someone's offering it and saying, look, it's there if you want it. But this person's like, no, I'm sorry, that isn't what I want. Five, it could be Sag, Taurus, maybe Loaf Path Five. Feeling like, I don't know, that they're going out, probably calling someone that they're with a dick, don't want to be with you anymore, splitting up. This person here could have been circumcised if that's, I don't know if they're Jewish or anything, um, but circumcised, you know, getting over someone from the past, they ain't nothing but a dick, blah, blah, blah. And you're glowing up on your own here. Um, what is the glow up here for? The glow up. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Piscean energy perhaps here. Um, about money, attracting money, attractive energy. Happy, open for a discussion, open for a relationship, open to be with someone. And it feels like that the other person doesn't. <clears throat> There's an energy here of a feminine. Sorry, feminines, if you're a bit, you know, you, you know, picking on gender specific. But you normally get feminine women or women that are like, oh, no, I don't, I'm getting over something, blah, 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 or I'm hurt, all that sort of stuff, right? You don't normally get men that do that. They normally just, you know, they, they come to that kind of conclusion. It normally takes about a month for a guy to realise their mistakes. Okay. Women, they get hurt instantly. So they go through this period of like, I want to be on my own. I'm healing. I don't want to be with anybody. I want to isolate myself. And I'm kind of going through this situation where I believe I'm working on something, but really I'm actually not working on anything because it's getting worse. It's The Five of Cups is where 
God, I'm going to get hated for this, but I feel sorry for myself, so on and so forth. You know, I'm in the five of cups. I'm going, going through something. You know, I don't really want to be with you. I, don't, I want to, but I don't, and I don't want anything. It's either I don't want to be with you at all or I'm going through something. I'm, like, getting over the past. I, you know, I can't stop thinking about the past and everything that went on. You ain't nothing but a dick, blah, blah, blah. That comes across as a blaming the other person energy. So don't forget, whoever it is that you blame, you manifest that in your situation in five or six months. <clears throat> so whoever this is really needs to start getting over it as you're going to cause a problem here in the future. Because what what your what you manifest is what you mainly think about nearly all of the time. So if you're thinking about something a lot and how bad it's going and how you know basically in life, Aquarius, the way that you accomplish life and get on with it is not give a fuck. If bad things happen, so what? Bring it on. Let's have more, right? Because the more that you think that everything's going to be great in life and that you deserve this and you deserve that. They'll give you nothing, give you nothing, right? God will give you sod all, you know. Someone asked me, what is it that I believe in? Jesus, baby Jesus, because it was, um, but it's still not going to help you, <laughs> right, in life, right? There is no spirit that protects you to help you, right? Why do you think good people get treated so bad and why people watch tarot card readings saying that they're protected? But it's normally because something bad's happening to someone else, right? Is that what you want? <laughs> right. Watching out for other people getting hurt and stuff. Right, well, what do you think Jesus was here for in order to say, do not treat your fellow man or women or woman, you know, Look after each other. Respect each other. Do not treat fellow man like that, okay? Have empathy for people, okay? <laughs> but there's this energy here of what I'm picking up for some of you that you're kind of, if you're sort of connected to someone, you're either getting over it and you don't want anything to do with this person at all or someone's open, glowing, willing and wanting but everybody else or the person that they're connected to that could IE be you is more on the vibe of I'm healing. I'm getting over something. I, it's, you know, I feel bad. I feel this. I feel that I can't get the past out of my head. I can't move on. I, uh, you know, so it, it's up to you, you know? Um, so now let's have a look now then. Aquarius, for Aquarius is May. What is coming up for Aquarius in May? Pisces, possible, the Empress, three, that which relates to the hangman. Okay, 12, three, hangman. So feeling good, glowing up, feeling really good, attractive or out there or male or female, doesn't really matter. Okay, not really chasing anybody, not really doing anything, just kind of sitting back, pretty doing me. Okay. Um, male or female, doesn't really matter. The Empress does chase slightly, or Jason, or Jace, or Chase. Dave, but <laughs> could be me, I don't know. But they do chase at some points, but then if a Pisces or a High Priestess stops chasing... That's because they're kind of like, well, I'm starting to see my worth. And if you can't see my worth, then I don't see that it's worth it. Okay, could be an it, could be a Stephen King. But like I said, they will chase and they do care and they do love. But if they stop, that's because they're kind of like saying, well, you're going to now have to start seeing me for who I am here. Okay. Let's see. Um, Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius for May? Eight of Wands, Aquarius, maybe Leo. So talking to someone, it's also like semen and stuff like that. Or I'm seeing someone, or I'm seeing a man, that's good. Uh, oh shit, Nine of Wands. Why did you take that other card? Somebody is either ghosting someone, or has ghosted someone, or there's this air of silence. 
that this person is looking, they're looking at this energy about communicating and they know, they know this person wants to communicate. They know this person's looking for a relationship. They know this person would communicate. This is also traveling. They, that they'll go out, that they'll do a load of things and blah, blah, blah. They know that this person wants to do that, but they're looking at this person as if to say, I don't trust you. I don't know if you're telling me the truth or I know that you want me to communicate, but I'm actually not doing so, but I know you want me to. Now that's either on purpose or I've ghosted you and I know that you want to communicate, but I'm looking at you as if to say, well, I don't know. Because this person's got trust issues. They've been round the ringer. They've possibly been split up, ghosted themselves, and now being the one that ghosts people because they've been ghosted, because they've been treated this way in the past, that can make this, this person think and feel, you know, well, you deserve me doing this to you because you did it to me, okay? Um, You've got 17, which is an 8, which is coming from, like, Aquarius Leo energy. They're also looking at this person communicating, watching them communicate. This is watching someone communicate to the general public and communication. This is, like, also feeling intimidated, but also intimidating because because I feel intimidated, I go quiet. This is like very silent, quiet, victim of mentality, you know, a victim mentality. You know, everything's happened to me, this always happens to me, blah, blah, blah. People are going to fucking hate me for this, but don't watch tarot if you're squeamish, right? Because <laughs> I don't want to hear it. If you're, you know, you've got to be sound body and mind in order to be able to take on a message. Because I'll get them and I'll just speak it. So this person here is also playing a victim of circumstance. Okay, very good song by Queens of the Stone Age, by the way. Okay, villains and circumstance. But is circumstance circumcised, someone that's Jewish also, um, is watching this energy. They're actually watching this person, but they're getting triggered. They're getting mirrored. It's pissing this person off watching this person do something or be a certain way or, I don't know, talk around other women or men, like a womanizer or a, a manizer or whichever way around it is. But I'm picking up the fact that they're actually looking at this eight of wands. <clears throat> this, this, this other person as well could have Aquarius or Leo in their chart. Let's see. This is um, Virgo energy for me. Um, Aquarius. The sun. But everything's good. And the king of pentacles. Everything is good, apart from Steve just saying that and people are now just starting to type some shit out. <laughs> Here. Th this, this person could have been mistreated by this person here. And this person's trying to make it up to this person and they're trying their best to get to the point of a 10, but it could have been like that through this connection because if, if people have got like a lot of placements of nine or Virgo in their chart, they could come up against circumstances that they feel emotionally unsatisfied in or that they're always going through these kind of situations of control and silence and, oh, my God, it's happened again and will it happen again and what if? Because this is like if, Steph, Jeff or Steve. But this is anxiety, worry, stress, okay, triggers, mirrored, anxiety, you know. Um, then it because... When people are like that, they give off the impression that it's it's temperamental. This person's temperamental, okay? So it's a very delicate situation is what I'm trying to say. 
but the sun and the king of pentacles is here to say that the masculine energy is very stable. It's, I believe this is the feminine energy that is more unstable around an energy that's trying to make things grow, make things happen. Let's get going. Let's be a couple, you know. Sorry, guys, but I pick it, this up as a feminine here. Let's see. Because he's worried about what this person will say or do. You know, and we're nowhere near finished your reading yet. You could have a lot of kings and queens coming up. Um, Aquarius. What's coming up for Aquarius? I should have left those other cards out. Oh, Life Path 7 and Cancerian Energy. There's a lot of positive cards looking out for the future. This person could also um, earn a living driving here. <clears throat> They're doing something around earning a career with their car or travels or sales or something like that, or a salesman or the name Sal, but a salesman, okay? Hearing Sal, Sal, the eat, read, love person, but Sal, Sal, was hearing an Alexa? Alexis, Alexa, stop. Um, a car, a certain car. Jimmy, J, A J, R J. Um, Aquarius for May. You've got a lot of um, Life Path 7 or Cancerian energy here waiting on something to do with around travel, money, selling of a car, buying of a car, or the selling of a car. Okay, Kaka! Kyle, more so in the name Kyle, Kaylee, Kaylee, Kylie, Jason, and then um, someone from Australia. Um, so waiting on something to do around travels and sales and a job. Okay, money is involved around this because I don't know where to invest my money, right? I've got a load of savings, but I don't know what to invest my money in. The sale of a car or a van and the buying of another or do I do something else within travels? Okay, exactly what I'm going through. <laughs> okay, do I sell my van and get another van? Okay, or do I sell my van and get a car? Or do I keep my van and try and have air conditioning put in it, but that's going to cost me £2,000 to put air conditioning in it? And the £2,000 could go towards the van if I sell the van and take the two grand and get a better van. So I'm kind of going through that. It, it's something like that, waiting on investments to do with travel and car. Okay. Um... And then some of you, this is the star sign. So I believe that you've got a really good reading coming up here and a very positive one, but I can also feel it becoming very complicated with who's who because I believe that you've got, you're going to have quite a lot of strong characters here. So what I'm going to do now is clarify, uh, I'm going to draw more cards and clarify everything and then give you more insight into this reading because it could turn around on an instant. It could be really good, really complicated, or things turn around to be quite bad I, I really don't know until we do it all over on the other side over on the other side is four dollars per month that's all it is and without your guys support everybody keeps saying steve i wish you would come back or i'm so glad you're back but i need your help and have my back if you want me to stay on here and possibly not do this in the future okay because it's coming up to the point where i need people's support which is liking, sharing, and commenting, but mainly joining the join button to get free readings when I go live, 150 teaching videos, monthlies and weeklies readings. <laughs> I will only be doing the monthlies on here, and when it comes to doing the weeklies, you will only get them on the join button for the weeklies. And then I will occasionally randomly pick out a few star signs that I do that have done really well in the comments and the liking and the sharing and the views. Okay.
Maybe, I don't know. You know me, I changed my mind. I got Gemini three times in my chart. But basically what I'm saying is I do need your support to help me out by joining the join button and getting everything that you get over there as a benefit, okay? So thanks very much. All links are provided below, including email for a personal reading. And uh, I will see you soon.